Welcome back guys. We are on Bob's boat at Kachuma Lake, 100% capacity. And we are trout fishing because, as you guys saw from our last Kachuma Lake update, they filed for an exemption, which means they're allowed to plant trout past 67%. And the reason that they used to only plant at 67 or below was because they were afraid that if the trout got washed into the local streams, they would compete with the native steelhead. And they got the exemption, guys. They just planted like two days ago. Two things that we get to do on this video. We get to fish for trout and we get to check out the lake for the first time being on the lake. We said in the last video that they weren't gonna open until March and it's currently February 15th. Let's see how today goes, but I'm gonna show you guys what the lake looks like, show you guys what the debris conditions are. We're not allowed to go over 10 miles per hour on the whole lake because of how much debris is in the water. I'm gonna show you some drone footage of what it looks like now and we'll go back into the back of the lake too and show you what that looks like as well. Oh, this is exciting. All right, so we've been trolling about three, three and a half miles an hour. We made it all the way to the big wall by Johnson Bay on the way to the dam. And look at it, guys. There's like no water line. It's like at max capacity. This is pretty awesome. Seeing it like this, it hasn't been full since 2011. And we were just talking about it like you guys saw in the last update, that first launch ramp where we launched this morning is going to be good for the next two years even if we get zero rain which is highly unlikely uh, based on them releasing about 15 to 20 percent water every single year that ramp's going to be good all the way to about 60 percent so this is really cool to see so far no bites though we have a feeling that there's still some fish near the dam because that's where the water's the clearest and that's where hopefully the fish will be able to see our lures pretty quick There you go, there you go. Oh, That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah. Bring in the other rods. Uh, yeah. What? Pretty good sizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to rush it in. Nope. nope. Oh, that is a good one. Nice trout. There we go. Yup. Fish out. Dude, that's a nice one. Got our first one on deck. Nice one, Bruce. First one in the boat, right at the dam. We're probably about 30 yards off the dam is where that fish bit. It's pretty good. All right, we're in Johnson right now. And my drone is right on that ridge right there. <laughs> I lost that like two years ago. It's probably still up there. All weathered. But yeah, this is awesome. This is the widest I've ever seen Johnson Bay. Yeah, the island is completely, there usually is an island like right here and it's completely gone, like right in this area. Oh, oh, oh there's one. There's a fish. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Right when I put the camera down, we are on again. Nice. 
actually when we came into Johnson you can actually see some trout like trailing on the on the surface or tailing on the surface you could actually see the ripples so that's what really sealed the deal for us we're definitely going into Johnson and really quick I wanted to give a huge shout out to my buddy Ryan he runs a website called 805 webcams and this website shows you how much water flow is going into our local lakes and it shows you the water levels and they just included a brand new feature to their website when you click on one of the lakes you could actually use a slider to go over what it looked like before the rain and what it looked like after the rain so you can really see how much this water level went up so i was looking at the kachuma lake one and it just is a drastic difference that camera is mounted at the marina looking out into the lake and you can just go back and forth and just see the big difference and they have that for lake nasimeno lake lopez margarita has one too so check out those that website if you guys want and it actually has some of the beaches avila beach has one port san luis has one but again shout out to 805 webcams you guys should definitely check that out and follow them on instagram east of vegas really i've never been any other state okay. besides california, california. Nevada, Nevada. Arizona? Arizona. Washington. Oh. Arizona, what? Nice! Oh my god. Nice! Oh my god. It's a good one? Good one, Bob? Wow. Bob's got a good one on. Wow. What do you mean, wow? Wow. It's got some weight. It's got some weight? Still good. It's coming this way. Oh, uh, right after I put a new bend in it, uh, it wasn't... Oh, that's right. I just told Ben, like, because it, it wasn't moving right. So with these needlefish, you have to bend them sometimes. Or make sure that they have just enough action to where it's turning. Back up. There it is. There it is. Oh. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. That's a good one. All right. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing with these needlefish is they're single hook. So when you get them, that's secure. Look at that. That's what's up. Probably shouldn't hold them over the water. All right, so we're switching up the game plan. We talked to a buddy who's here, who's in a different area, right in front of the marina, because that's where they planted. And he's running a pink flick -a shad size five, and he's got two. One of them is a five pounder. So we're like, should we continue to do what we're doing and catch the last plant and most likely catch two pounders? Or should we go big and try to catch the ones that they just planted, which there are a lot of them in that five and six pound class we're gonna go with the five and six pound class chances all right so here's what we're gonna run right now I'll leave a link for you guys to check these out but we've ran these a lot in previous episodes and always do pretty good with them but we do have to set up the buckets to slow us down because Bob's boat trolls pretty quick. It wasn't a full, it wasn't full boat. Dude, the Polaris Supreme is state rooms. What? They're so state me and rooms. Bob are going to have one room. We're going to have a room. Oh, oh, get it, get it, oh get that's it. a big one. Oh. That was a nice one. Dude, that was... That was a nice one. Bro, I saw this rod shaking Holy like crazy, crap. and there was that rod going off. That was big. You still got your lure? Nope. I snap. Your drag was too tight. Wow. There was a log? That, no. no. Dude, that was a big, that was a big <laughs> fish, dude. You didn't see the way that thing was hitting? That wow. Was a, we just lost a big one. <laughs> Bruce's rod was more than doubled over wow that was a five pounder we used to launch our boat like 
60 feet down. Down that way. Now it's way underwater. And we used to have to get a ride from the marina back down <laughs> once we parked the truck after launching the boat. This is definitely unprecedented. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Back to running. All right. Coming right for us. Maybe not. They're going out that way. Nice. Ah, good grab. Oh yeah. Oh, he's off. Out in the middle of nowhere. Caught her amongst the debris field. On the needle fish. On the needle fish. Oh, fish, fish, fish. Oh, oh it's jumping. There you go. Oh. There you go. That's a good one. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> to the side. Yeah, that. Oh. Jeez. Stay on. Gas pump. pump. Pump gas. There you go. All right. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that is a that's a big one, dude. There you go. <sighs> That is a toad. Oh yeah, number eight. Yeah, just a quick update. These fish are not relating to structure like nearby any land. Like it's, a lot of our bites were coming out in the open. Like it's been pretty interesting. I wonder if it has to do with a lot of the debris, if they're relating to that, the stuff that's floating, they're kind of searching amongst that for food. Cause there is a lot of debris just floating around here. A lot of things for them to relate to out in the open, but yeah, a lot of our bites have been just not even close to shore at all. It's been interesting. All right guys, so we just finished lunch, spent a life savings on some hot dogs and hamburgers over at Hook Bar and Grill. <laughs> just kidding, it was super worth it. Hot food when you're fishing is priceless. <laughs> but anyway, you guys see that? That is Arrowhead Island. That is where a few episodes ago, it was high and dry and I went and looked for my rod and I couldn't find it, but gosh, it's just crazy to see it. Water level right back up here. I mean, here's some footage of what it looked like back then when I got dropped off over there. I was, I was walking probably 40, 50 feet down coming to that island that was way above water, so. Yeah, we're like 50 feet of water when it was probably like back here, probably like 10, 12 feet. So it's risen like a good 40, 50 feet. Easy. But yeah, I was walking underwater to go down there. We got two bites over there by the island and then we're heading out of Santa Cruz Bay here and Fish on, it's awesome. Feel about the same as the last ones? Yeah, should be right here. Visibility's not bad. That's a good sizer. Yeah, it's like another green tag. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, it looks like a cutthroat, look at that. It's like a cut bow. Oh wow, check it out. Yeah, it's got the, the cutthroat markings. Crazy. 
Jeez. Whoa. Cutbow. So these are Mount Lassen trout. They come from Mount Lassen Farms and they planted another 4,000 pounds, so 12,000 pounds total so far this season of those kind of trout. But every time they do a different plant, they're a different color tag. So that's how we know that they were from a couple seasons ago. I believe this last plant, they look like a chartreuse tag, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, same story. That was like out in the middle of nowhere. We weren't like near much land at all. Just out in the middle of nowhere. Here, show us that lure. So that's what that one looks like. It's called the Pearl Bikini. Gold back, pearl front. Mm-hmm. Got it on a Carolina rig, quarter ounce weight with a bead. Six pound test leader. To, uh, I'm think, I think Bruce has eight pound test mono or yeah, fluoro like on that thing. Just eight pound fluoro. Eight pound fluoro, which is nice because it sinks. <laughs> 